Welcome back to the channel. So Eddie Jones is back. He is returning to international rugby, international coaching as the head coach of Japan. It has now been confirmed way back in the World Cup. He denied even interviewing for the job, but he has now been appointed as the new head coach of Japan. So let me know what you make of that news. Australia fans, England fans, Japan fans, what do you make of it? Eddie Jones being back coaching international rugby. That's what I'm talking about in the video. If you can leave a thumbs up on it as well, then that's massively appreciated. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel to not miss anything that gets uploaded. Let's get into it. So this will probably be a slightly shorter video, just reacting to the news that Eddie Jones has returned. A few different thoughts on it, really. I wanted to start the video actually by saying, or giving credit to Tom Deason, who's the reporter for the Sydney Morning Herald, who's led on this story from the start. He first reported back around the time of the World Cup that two days before the Wallabies World Cup warm-up against France, Eddie Jones had interviewed for the job. Jones denied it. Rugby Australia hadn't heard anything about it, but he's led on this story throughout and I think has done an excellent job and it has now been confirmed by the Japan Rugby Union that Eddie Jones is going to be their head coach once again. So what do we make of that news? I think it's an interesting one with Eddie Jones. So let's look at the bare facts of it. 22% win rate in his most recent stint with the Wallabies, which was a pretty short one, won only five of his final 12 tests in charge of England. And actually, if you look at his time with England, basically since 2019, it was not good. They did have some decent wins in there, but the style of rugby wasn't good. There wasn't too much consistency. I think you have to go back to 2019 and that World Cup, where the last time you can say a team coached by Eddie Jones was firing on all cylinders and that he was doing a good job, which is a fair bit of time by now. It's certainly a fair bit of time by when we get to the next World Cup, which is which when his contract runs until, takes him up until 2027. So where do we stand with Eddie Jones? He is one of the most experienced coaches in the world, one of the most high profile. There's no questioning some of the accolades he has on his CV are exceptional. But where is Eddie Jones now? at the end of 2023, heading into 2024. And I think that's the question that people in Japan will be asking. Now, obviously, the last time he was in charge of them between 2012 and 2015, including that miracle in Brighton when they beat the Springboks at the 2015 World Cup in the pool stages. Is he still that coach? And I think in Japan, this news will be met with a bit of a mixed reaction. I think on the one hand, it will be seen as a homecoming. He's always been incredibly fond of the country for obvious reasons. He, I think, recently moved there permanently anyway. But I think there also will be those out there that view him as yesterday's man, as someone who was once a great coach that did great things for the Japan head, for Japan as a rugby nation. But is he still that guy? And it kind of similar to, I remember saying this when Warren Gatlin returned to Wales, and I might be proved wrong in this because Wales did pretty well at the World Cup and maybe Gatlin will be able to get them back on track. But there's always a feeling I have of never go back. When you've done such a great job somewhere, don't go back to it because you have that legacy. Don't tarnish it almost. So how he goes with Japan will be fascinating. As a nation, they are not at the heights they were in 2015. They were okay in the World Cup without being amazing, getting knocked out in the pool stages, losing to obviously England, Argentina finishing above them as well. So there's a lot of work to be done in terms of where Japan are at the moment, I suppose, and where they go from here. I don't think it's an easy job at all. How do you think he'll do? What do you make of it? Do you think that Eddie Jones is yesterday's man or do you think there's still a great coach in there? I think you've put forward two pretty strong arguments for both of those things. So let me know in the comments section. Those are my kind of original thoughts on the appointment Recently has not been good. The recent track record of Eddie Jones, the win percentage hasn't been high enough. Him himself would admit that the results haven't been high enough. He admitted that at the end of the World Cup with Australia. He admitted it when he lost the England head coach job that the results hadn't been good enough. So it's been a little while since we have seen him, I think, coaching at a really top level. What will he do with Japan? Look, what I would say is whether you like Eddie Jones or dislike Eddie Jones, he is blockbuster. He gets eyeballs on screens. He gets people clicking on articles. He drives interest in the game. For a lot of people, it might be the wrong interest. 
and not the sort of things they want to be covering or reading and thinks it's all a little bit of a pantomime. I think there's, there's some element to that, but I think it's entertaining. So I'm intrigued to see where he goes with Japan. Amazing, isn't it, to think that he was appointed head coach of Australia, another homecoming for him, going back to the team that he took to a World Cup final in 2003. Seeing them through to another home World Cup was the plan, plus a British and Irish Lions tour in 2025. That's already over, and he's head coach of Japan. Look, with Eddie's, it, <laughs> it's always a roller coaster. And yeah, it should be fun. Get your popcorn. Let me know what you make of it in the comment section. Make sure you like the video as well. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.